Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 17 and 18 of Summertime Rendering. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 17 and 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Better. God, that that was the scariest and creepiest thing from last week's episode, but I feel like we're probably going to get worse since we are getting closer and closer to the end of this. I mean, thanks, but damn, you could have not. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. How you wish you could just go back in time and warn yourself of like, hey, don't be friends with this little girl. Mm-hmm. Oh. You'll be fine. Yeah, that too. But you'll be fine. Right? I mean, you know, we're on episode. We, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> yes, you can.
<clears throat> of course, I mean, you did the right thing, but then at the same time, you didn't. You, you lied to both of them. I got that. You were doing what you thought was best for your family. You have so much baggage under your eyes. Mm -hmm. You need to at least get some sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone's going to kill you tonight. Damn, everybody went to sleep. <laughs> I mean, you know, because somebody could come up and just slowly but surely just sneak up and be like, oof. At least one of y'all should have made like a, a nightly round. I mean, yeah, that too. But it's not safe. Hmm? Uh, mm -hmm. Your wife? Oh. Yeah. Do you really want to do that though?
Oh god. Yeah, everybody's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Shadow me, oh stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, please don't. Oh, and you got Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might not understand it now, but you'll understand it later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, that's the tomboy in us girls. Mm -hmm. Basically. It's okay. Kids don't need to know that. I hope so. Mm. Figures it would be a Taurus. So then she's probably going to go get eaten by what's her face. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that wasn't Ushino. That was more Heine. Of course.
They have to be. Oh. What if he's already a shadow? You would end. You would fucking end. But still, I don't know. I would be a little suspicious of him. And especially because Shin is going by himself. Definitely be hella... Well, no, because... No, no, no. Because even when Shin is by himself, Ushin was always with him and such. He He's wearing something and that she just immediately comes out of. But I, I feel bad for what's-his-face. Like, I didn't think that his wife would have been a shadow and then that he had to kill the shadow. But then it still felt like he was killing her. Like, that... Oh, God. Like, with this show and when you have... <sighs> feelings in it and you are attached to characters and the one minute they're there they're there and the next minute they're, they're gone like that's so upsetting like okay Bucci like yeah we officially kind of met her today and then damn like you know Shin has to kill her shadow version like I, I think you know if it was maybe Ushino doing it or anyone else who did have a really good established connection with her including Shin it, it would have they would have hesitated anybody would have hesitated I mean think about it like we can compare it back to like any type of like uh, video game series especially like if it's for zombies or anything and let's say someone gets bit and they're slowly but surely turning into a zombie and it's someone who, a loved one that you care about so freaking much and you don't want to leave them or, like, something happens to your family. Oh, my God. Like, I can't imagine. But now it makes me wonder, what are we going to learn from this dude in this next episode? Because, I mean, once again, we can go anywhere with this show. I also like the situation between Mio and Shadow Mio. That was really good. I, I love, once again, how, like, in a way, Shadow Mio has no filter. Shadow Mio would literally say anything that is on her mind. She doesn't give a F about it. Like, I love <laughs> the fact that this girl literally is telling herself off in front of Mio and being like, hey, you know, you need to tell Shin how you actually feel about him and that she is also jealous of her sister and that she's asking her why aren't you taking that out on her especially you know you're in front of a shadow version of your sister even though she's dead you still have all this frustration and resentment towards your sister why don't you just go ahead and take it out on her it would be better for you to take it out on her and stuff it, it's like it, it's like having your conscience like right in front of you and such and you're seeing you know not like uh, still somewhat similar to the true version of you and how like all your your real thoughts your feelings and everything of how you feel about maybe like certain people and such um and that's why they say honesty ain't always the best thing you know because the after that people start kind of looking at you some type of way i, I <laughs> yes <laughs> because sometimes i am a, uh, with me myself i am a little too honest but I, i'd rather be honest than lie to you that's the thing and so i think that is what shadow mio is trying to do for mio honestly and it is a little bit of like mm, tough criticism and it's stuff that mio or actual mio doesn't really want to hear necessarily but she needs to hear this in order for her to you know go through this but whew, excuse me sorry i should not be sleeping at 8 19 at night <laughs> but i kind of am but it makes me wonder like is she really going to confess to shin like i, I feel like signs are pointing to yes Especially when she was like, hey, you know, the next time we see each other, I want to tell you something. But I feel like she's going to make something up. I don't know. 
maybe. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 18. Okay, episode 18, and hold on, this thing just is acting dumb again. And three, two, one, go. Oh. And that was the first. Okay. Hmm. Never thought we would know about that because, I mean. It especially, you know, we had to eventually learn about something where, you know, it was the first person who was ever, you know, shadowed and turned into a shadow. And then, you know, the so on and so forth and so forth and so forth leading up until now. But that was really interesting. I, I just didn't think they were going to open with that today. But okay, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Okay, good. Thank God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't like the way he's saying that. Nope.
ain't it funny that it's always something from outer space? Like, bruh. Mm hmm. It just once again makes you wonder, really, truly wonder what is exactly out there. Same thing with the ocean. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, because, no offense, you should be dead. So then what exactly are you then? True. And then, of course, he would be the most suspicious. But really, more or less, to blend in with everyone else. And then, but slowly but surely, he could kill everybody. He could bring someone, talk to them, boom, kill him, turn him into a shadow, bam. That too. <laughs> you know, seemed a little too overly friendly. Yeah. I, 
I think that's a little reckless. Uh, I mean. <laughs> And if you can't. Yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That is nuts. Like, mm mm. What? <laughs> oh. oh. Mm hmm. Oh, heck no. I wouldn't even trust you because you still could have poisoned it. And of course, he still doesn't feel sorry about that. Mm. Disgusting. That's right. Because killing him will not bring your family back. I 
I mean, my thing is, let's be honest, do you really think he's going to reason with you? No, because something about that, mm mm. Wait. That was a trap. Oh, God. I mean, yeah, 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 you cut his head off. I mean, it makes sense because, you know, hey, she a shadow and, you know, real emotional. She dead. Yeah, but still because of that, he still got killed.
There's no way we can bring her back now. But it's just him. Everything was going so freaking perfect. But then at the same time, she kept saying, I don't sense any shadows around. And I kept thinking, hold up, wait, something about this ain't right. Like, okay, yeah, he might be fine. He might be human, whatever and such. But I was like, something about this in my head. This ain't right. This a trap. Come on now. Like, <laughs> once again, you gotta be smart. And he outsmarted them. Like, ugh. They can't get Ushino back. They can't. Like, oh. And the fact that she died super quickly. Like, she got the, she did the phone, got the call, and then, poop. Just stab. And then you, once you see everything, like, you're just like, oh my god, that's it for her. Now, unless, like, some BS excuse comes out in the next couple of episodes of bringing her back, still, there is no way to bring her back. I don't think so. Like, once a shadow officially dies, like, there, there is nothing. Like, they, is she, no, okay, hold on. There, I mean, can you copy a dead body, though? I mean, well, no, because kind of, right? So then that could bring her back, but then she wouldn't have the same memories. I don't know. I, I'm Okay, I'm at the, once again, we at the crossroads of this show. This was a, both of these episodes were good. Like, just the standoff between the two of them, and then having Ushino doing what she did. And I understand that she, Shane wanted to know why he killed her, his parents and such. And everything, which I get that, but still, it, it's it, it was still reckless. Like everything that the plan, seeing the plan as he's dying, and learning what all was going down was so smart and reckless. Like yes, it's smart that Shin went by himself, also with Ushino, and everybody else was there just in case something happened. And they had okay, if it's two sign, if it's two gunshots, is this? If it's three, it's this. That's all smart, but still, at the same time, like, once again, she, she like, outsmarted all of them and, and such. And so now, I, I mean, where do we go from here? Like, truly, where, where do we go? How, how is Mio going to feel about this? Like, how, how do you tell Mio that her sister died again but not her actual sister her shadow sister <sighs> oh uh, th this is some mm -hmm, this is some ish <laughs> some good ish but ish all uh, re relatively but like jesus like th this was crazy i mean oh my god like i i wasn't expecting everything especially like the last couple of minutes to happened in this episode but damn that that really got me I, oh god i don't even know what else to say <laughs> really truly but other than that guys that was my reaction for you towards episode 17 and 18 of summertime rendering if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 19 and 20. Bye, guys.